Hey, what's up guys? Gordo here. Today I'm going to uh, put a foot on this double paddle wheel here. Um, so I've straightened this part on the bench already, so it's not perfectly true to the lathe yet. But um, that's why I leave this little nub on there. So I can use my, I'll heat here and I'll use my paddle to kind of uh, get it all trued up. You just want to make sure it's completely true before you start melting it. If it's not, then your foot <clears throat> won't be perfectly even. So just start heating that up. All right, a little too hot. It's all right though. Just let it solidify. There we go. That's looking good. That's what we want to see. Got to be real careful about overheating it. If I would have let it go, go out a little bit more, it could have been pretty disastrous. So now that we have it uh, trued up, I'm going to go ahead and take this nub off. And on these paddle wheel pieces, I, uh, I, I like putting a little nub of clear um, that I will attach the foot to. It's really hard to just attach a foot straight to a shape like that. So by putting a little nub on there and then flattening that and then adding the foot to that piece, uh, it makes it a lot easier to flare the foot and, and get a nice uh, even foot. So, it takes a little bit longer, but I think it's well worth it. And I like to put the perch down there in the in the empty little nub before the foot. Um, it gives the uh, the water function a little more space to uh, to work its do its thing. And all right, I need to pop a nice clean hole down here heat it up and puff it out a little bit, make sure it's as easy, even as possible. No need to rush. And we do have a titanium lens on one of these cameras. It seems to help a little bit, but we are working with um, Aura lenses uh, to get a darker shade for our cameras. So hopefully you guys will be able to see a little bit better with that darker shade. Okay. Just a warm in down here now. For now, I just have a cork down here. Uh, once we do the foot seal, though, I'll have a, a blow hose down in the tail stack. These two flames here make it a little bit quicker. Had some carbon built up in there, so I uncorked it and blew through it. And these shapes can be a little difficult to add something to, so you just want to work it a little bit uh, in a little bit softer flame. Kind of let it reduce down and thicken back up relatively slowly so you don't uh, overdo, overdo anything. It would be really easy to kind of blow out and misshape the paddle wheel section if we're not careful.
Alright, that's looking really good. We're gonna let the, seat, the heat uh, soak in for a minute and give it another little puff. Kind of solidify everything and even, even everything out in there. Now I'm gonna take, take this off. Everything looks nice and even. Sometimes it can be a little difficult with these off-center mouthpieces, but just gotta take your time, make sure everything's straight before you move on to the next step. That's key. And I would, I would love to hear if any of you have any requests, demos that you'd like to see, um, or any questions, just let us know. Um, leave them in the comments and uh, we'll try to answer them as best as we can. But that's why we uh, are doing these, is to help people uh, learn how to blow glass. And uh, you know, with my skill set, it's uh, pretty much, uh, you know, specifically, um, lathe work and like assembly of pieces. So that's what we're gonna focus on. All right, we're gonna tear this clean before we flatten it. And um, I'm gonna tear off a little bit of the excess so it's a little bit shorter, but uh, this is gonna be that little nub that we will uh, attach the foot to. And it'll also, it'll contain the perk eventually. Um, just gives it a little bit more room. I'm gonna flatten it. Maybe give it a little bit of air. Shouldn't need a ton. Um, but get it nice and flat for the, um, the foot seal. We've already got this prepped up, ready to go. Just need to get a blow hose on it. This one's gonna fit here. Okay. And we'll let it uh, soak in the flame for a little while. Um, like I said, I have, I now have air on both sides so I can blow out the seal evenly. If you only have air on one side of this seal, the te it tends to want to blow the, mem the, the membrane in between the seal, uh, whichever way away from which it, well, uh, the air flow. So if I just had air over here, it would blow the membrane into the foot. Um, so I, I just prefer to do this. It seems to be the best way to do the seal, especially on my little lathe. Um, when you try to use uh, centrifugal force on this lathe, it, it starts rattling and shaking quite a bit. <laughs> so it's not ideal for this setup, but this works just fine, so. It's a little annoying to have uh, two mouthpieces in there, but um, Blast Shield does sell a little manifold that um, you can kind of choose where, which side your air goes, one or the other or both. Uh, so I may look into getting one of those. Go ahead and use two flames here. Just speed the process up a little bit. Put a little bit more air into it as it cools down. But that is looking pretty good. 
So, I'm going to thicken this up a little bit before I tear it off. Um, I still ha uh, use both sides of the air, uh, even when I'm just gathering this up and not specifically working on the seal, because I still find that it wants to blow out one way or the other if you, if you only um, use one side. So. I still continue to use both sides uh, until, until I'm done. And we're just heating it up, letting it uh, reduce a little bit, and bringing it in, and then puffing it back out to keep it um, relatively even to what we already have, the 32 mil. But I'm just trying to create some thickness uh, for the foot, yeah. And that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and rip this off um, and then start to thicken it up again. I'll do a little bit more thickening once this is uh, detached. But we're close to, to the final thickness. I'm gonna give it a little bit of air. Thin it out. I don't really like to do a, a complete flame tear on those. It, when I do it, I, I seem to uh, leave this little nub that I have to go back and get out anyways. So. so we'll start to heat it, uh, we'll open it up, and then um, I'll start using the paddle to thicken it up. But I wanna get this hole open a little bit more. Uh, because we'll just, uh, once we start thickening it up, it'll get smaller and smaller. Anyway, so I just rather do it now. Um, we have it pretty thick down here towards the seal, so now I'm just going to more or less focus on the lip, thickening it up before we do go for the flare. And I get a nice heat base in there, and I take the flame off, push it in, and then come from under. And I will do that uh, generally two or three times, maybe four times. Um, doesn't really matter. Uh, but the, the more you do this, the less diameter your foot's going to have. So it'll be thicker, but it'll be less um, um, diameter, like uh, overall, the uh, size of it. So you want a nice balance between a nice thick foot and a good diameter that matches the shape of your piece. And generally, um, the rule I kind of go with is to match the foot with the farthest extending part of the piece. There we go. Uh, I'm going to heat it now, get some of those tool marks out. I'll go for like a, a flatten, a, just a real quick flatten, not the, not the final flatten. Um, 
here just to make sure it's staying on center. Then I'm going to um, clean up this divot. The way that I flare feed, I tend to get a little bit of divot on this seal uh, pretty much every time. So it just takes a few seconds to kind of get it um, cleaned up here, and then we're good. I'm going to thicken this up a little bit, um, but I think I am going to keep this one round. I've been uh, preferring round feet recently, just because everyone's doing square. <laughs> But if it's a little bit thinner than you were hoping for after the flare, you can always hit it uh, just for a good you know, minute or two, and that'll actually thicken up just the lip on the foot. Um, give you a little bit more thickness there. Um, and then after you get that where you, uh, where you like it, you go ahead and take the heat off of it. <clears throat> I like to let that heat sink in for just a few seconds before I go for the paddle or the flatten. And uh, I like to anchor my arm or the paddle to something on the lathe so I can keep it as true as possible. I also like to uh, keep the paddle on the foot until the foot is uh, more or less completely solidified. So. Um, so yeah, that's how I put the foot on one of these paddle wheels. Now it's just time for the perk and the, uh, the stem and the joint and everything and taking it off down here. But um, yeah, I hope you guys learned something. Let me know if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I appreciate you guys watching these videos. Uh, I do them in uh, hopes that the younger generation can learn from them. Uh, so if you guys have any demos you specifically want to see, please just ask me. You can email me, um, DM me, leave a comment, whatever you got to do. Uh, but yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a good day.